Alrighty folks, welcome back to Street Rust. Uh, it's hot outside. It's like bad hot. So anyway, now uh, there goes my phone in my pocket right while I'm uh, <laughs> videoing. So anyway, hey, I put some I put some used tires on the Durango today. I do that with some of my older vehicles. Uh, saved a lot of money. I think I pay about forty bucks a piece at a local shop called tire track so for about 186 dollars uh tax included mounted balanced uh i usually you know about once a year put a little set of tires on here and they run pretty good but anyway uh this thing between 35 and 40 miles an hour i think it's the front left just rattling just out of balance and i noticed i noticed on all the other tires, you know, they've rebalanced them. No, no problem there. Goes the other side, goes the passenger side. And this is dirty, so this was on the front. I'm gonna clean those up, but it's balanced. Looks like that rim's bent a little bit right there. Wouldn't appreciate that, but a little balance here. But I noticed on this rim here, there's no balancer on there. Now maybe it was just, you know, perfectly in balance. I'm gonna have to check the back as well. So what I have bought last year, because I change some tires, especially these old cars that I work on, you know, you go change, you go spending 10, 15, 20 bucks just to change tire, it gets expensive. Now this is manual, well, this isn't the tire changer. I'm sorry, this is the balancer. We'll talk about the tire changer another time. Manual tire changer, if you want to work out. Anyway, this is a tire balancer. This is Harbor Freight, it was less than $100. The concept of this device, you'll see you have a little a little point on there, right there. And that goes, that sits down there on that. Now I got it all boogered up. Probably ain't got a balance worth of hoot. Nope. Get, you got to get it on there perfectly. Okay. Now you can see the little bubble on top. You can see it move. No problem. That's balanced. We're on a flat surface. So what I'm going to do just for giggles because i ain't got nothing better to do on a friday night and i got to work tomorrow morning and drive all three hours to kansas deal with a rental property i figured i'd just come out here in the 97 degree weather and rip off a couple tires and see if they're balanced so that's what we're going to do so i'll go ahead and get everything set up and i'll get this tire off we'll take it over to balancer see what we got and i actually have the uh, weights to to put on here, I actually have the, the kind that uh, go on the inside of the rim, on the back side, and they kind of glue on. But uh, I, I'll show it to you here in a few minutes. All right, we got the wheel off. It's sitting over here. And uh, basically, you just set the wheel on here. It's self-centering because it's, it's cone-shaped as it comes up. And you can see that little bubble in the middle. And let me move it around. You see where it settles there that little bubble in there that's spot on that's why they don't have a weight on here now this is not electronic it's not as precise but it'll sure get you it'll get you where you want to be especially on a weeknight or a weekend when you're working on a hot rod or a car or or your daily driver and uh you just need to get something done okay uh what else you know shout out shout out to tire tracks in springdale arkansas for not torquing down these doggone lug nuts to 250,000 foot pounds. I appreciate that. They, I've put enough of these on, they were probably between 85 and 100 foot pounds, which is exactly where they're supposed to be. So good job, guys. Good job, tire tracks. Now, as far as weights, you can also buy these at Harbor Freight. Um, I don't think, I'm pretty sure Harbor Freight didn't sell this type of weight. Of course, you can get on Amazon, and you can buy the tool and those types of weights. Uh, these are little quarter ounce weights. They come in different weights. But these go on the inside of the tire. Like back in there, you do it from the back. If you needed to weight something down, you'd put this on it. And uh, it would go in the inside of the rim on the back, you know. Back up under here, like so. And they're adhesive, so you've got to make sure that uh, it's clean back there. So here's what I'm going to do. Nothing better to do on a Friday night. Like I said, got a lot of things better on a Friday night. Ooh, cricket. There's some, there's some 
fish food right there for you fishermen. Look at there. Say hi there, Jiminy. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you go. Catch you another day for fishing. Anyway, since I've already got this off, I'm gonna go ahead and get out my spare that's up under the back. And I'm gonna rotate these tires like I would rotate them normally, which would be cross cross the fronts and bring the rears, bring the rears straight up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe one of these tires is cupped or something. Uh, we're fixing to find out though. I'll check back in with you on each tire. Got the spare tire on there. And I've taken, so here's how you rotate rear wheel drive cars and even four wheel drives. The two front tires cross and go to the back. So this one would go up here, this one goes up here. Then the two back tires just come straight to the front. Not gonna confuse you, a front wheel drive vehicle, uh, a little different. The front wheel drive vehicle, I understand the two front because they're the driving wheels, just the opposite, go to the back, then the back, the backs cross. This one comes up here, the back far one comes up here. So uh, we, we uh, took this one off, but the one we just bounced and we put it on the back passenger side it crosses so i've got the one off the back passenger side old dirty nasty thing uh and you can see once again this thing is balanced so not a problem there so i'm gonna go ahead and get this one on the back and then that back one will move for, well we'll come over here and test it so we'll be right back all right next tire this this tire came off the front passenger side so it's going to cross over to the rear one here okay and once again dirty nasty tire i mean on the front but you can see that bubble it's spot on i'm checking these also i'm not feeling any cupping around that would cause any vibration i mean it's possible we had a tire that wasn't seated properly i don't know we're going to get this done well, we got to check one more tire for balance, and uh, then we'll take it for a spin and see what we got. All right, here's the uh, the tire that came off the rear that's going to move to the front, be our last step. And once again, you can see that bubble. Look, I'll make that bubble move quite a bit, and then let's watch her settle down. I mean. I know, I know this isn't a perfect piece of equipment, but this is how they used to do it in the old days. You see old timey ones like that, they're set up probably a little more sturdy than this one. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and get this one on. We'll get the spare put back. We'll go give her a whirl. Then I'm going to come back and wash this thing. Because you know what? I'm sweating like a hog out here because it's about a 175% humidity out here at this it's just like hog, hog snot hot. So maybe that's what I'll call this video, hog snot hot. So I don't know. Be right back. All right, I got the wheels torqued. Torqued them to 100 foot pounds. That's the test drive. I'll retorque them again. That's what you want to do on aluminum, on uh, aluminum rims. But hey, let me see that camera for a minute. We got a guest appearance here. Look who showed up. <laughs> been down in mexico in the ranch for two doggone weeks just pulled up to the house so so we're gonna give this a whirl let's get out here on the hardball real quick just wait i mean literally i had a little vibration in the front you just showed up and it was about from 30 to 40 thereabout and i don't know if it's something was just not seated right what the wheels yeah let me get up to about 30, 35, I'll tell you. You know what? It's better. The tires were balanced, every one of them. So, is that dog on tractor? You know, yeah. I think it may just be the tires. It's not as smooth. These are a little thinner. Right. I, I had 245s on here. Now I got 225s. Because I got a good deal. <laughs> so, that may be part of it too. But hey, it's uh, not bad at all. So let's just shoot on down. We'll give we'll give everybody a shot of the lake. Get back to retort these and, and walk. So we're going downhill to the boat ramp. This is uh, Beaver Lake. For those of you who are not local, uh, this is a man-made lake. I believe it was 1962 or 1964. The the White River Basin was 
dammed up and flooded and uh, this is the, the home of the uh, world famous stripers. If you want to striper fish, this is the place to come. So we'll get down here to our little section of Beaver Lake, which is in the Blue Springs area. Yep, it's already better, I can tell. So either, either that tire is, we got a bad tire or something which is not seen properly. Alright, we're almost there. It's about 20 degrees cooler coming down this hill. Yeah. Alright. Let's give them a shot. Yep, everybody's out here. It's too doggone hot to be fishing. Them fish ain't gonna be biting. Now kayaking, there's some, there's some kayakers down there. That, that, it's hot enough for that, I guarantee it. Yeah, oh, they're down there swimming too, that's awesome. Not there, they're fishing. See them swimming down there, off the point? I don't think I know that guy. Yeah, well. No, never mind. No. And there's there's the bridge over there, that's uh, Highway 412 bridge here. Yeah, see him down there swimming? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, we're gonna kill it for now, and we'll get back to the house and uh, close this out. All right, it's gonna wrap up this little video. Um, you know, this this channel is about saving old cars, like Big Green over here. Okay, it's not about modern vehicles like that. But heck, that thing's 22 years old. But uh, what here's what it is about. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. You know, I that thing has paid for itself and the uh, manual tire changer, I probably got 200 bucks into both of them. And they have absolutely paid for themselves time and time again. You remember when we put tires on the Fiero? Yeah. We saved 80 bucks. Yeah, the LTD, we did all that. Uh, I can tell you that manual tire changer, I don't trust it with these alloy rims. I'll, I'll do steel rims, but but look, you don't have to spend a ton of money. It takes a little manual labor, but you can do it. I know you can do it. So we're gonna end it. Uh, I would ask, it's uh, it's free to you. It's an abundant blessing to me and you all are doing a great job. We're over 220 subscribers. But if you would please uh, uh, subscribe and like and share, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you on the next video. Be blessed.